Guys, thank you very much for watching. This is Ashton's Cars. Doing a very quick video walk around and I will just try and get some distance between me and it because it's a very big car. Let's get it all in shot. I have our BMW 645 convertible. So this is the big one. This is the V8 model. Very, very sought after machine. It's um, an absolutely beautiful car. And when they came out, these were very, very expensive machines and uh, sort of the stuff of dreams, really. The 645 is kind of the model to have in these because it's got that amazing V8 engine, which I'll fire up in a second for you and you will immediately, hopefully, when you hear the sound, hopefully it'll come through okay on here, you will realise why it's one of my favourite convertibles. It's just a beautiful sounding machine. Very, very powerful, very striking car. It's a 2 plus 2, but it's a very big one, as you can see. Very long car, based on a 5 series platform. Let's just have a quick glance inside it there, and you can see that it's a 4 seater. But it's this front cabin that will be the most of interest to most people, I would have thought. Look at that, full luxury spec on it. All the wood, the leather, just a sort of almost a supercar really in, in many senses of the word it's it's only one model down from an M6 so same top speed 155 miles an hour if you dare I think one of the nicest looking convertibles of all time and it's lovely driving one of these normally aspirated V8 engines it's just got so much power way down in the rev range driving some of the new high performance cars now where they're using turbos instead of sort of cubic inches they're fast but you've really got to wind them up to get them going this car is just a relaxing drive and right from the off when you set off in it it's there to sort of waft you along on a massive sea of power it's you've got so much grunt in literally every single gear it's an automatic but you know right the way through the box you just touch that throttle and it will overtake pretty much anything and it's got that beautiful soundtrack to accompany it. So certainly one of my favourite cars of all time. And particularly since they've come into this sort of bargain price range that they're in now. I mean, they're a new 6 Series. I hate to think how much they are. I mean, you're looking north of probably 60 grand for something with this spec on it. Um, and they're, they're literally sort of 10% of what they were new. So just such a great buy for someone. If you want something that's so much value for money... There we go. Hopefully you can get a, a proper sense of the uh, the magnitude of this interior. Let's, let's jump in it. So this is one of the uh, the earlier cars to have iDrive. So I'll show you how that works in just a second. If I fire up and do the startup sequence first for you. Now I will hasten to add there's a bell warning light coming up on there because we have not prepped the car yet. But um, let's just press that there. Guidance continued. I think it was me set the sat-nav on it when I brought it home. Let's knock that down a little bit. So, it's got the sat-nav system on it. It's just calculating a route for me and then the map will come up on there. Traditional BMW display there with just 83,000 miles on a V8. The car is barely running, guys, with that sort of mileage on it. So I can tell you now it's uh, it's showing. In indicated direction. Oh, and it's just told me about my route. So there's my map. That's all come up there. Where the trip computer is on the right-hand side of that screen is a very handy sort of left and right arrow will come up there when I get near turns I need to make. It's a very easy system to use, considering the car's 15 years old. It's very, very nice to use. Um, being an iDrive, I've got a switch down here. I press menu on it. And I come up with this screen, and then by shifting this up and down like a mouse, I can select between all these different uh, features on the car. So if I wanted to go to the right, it'll it'll do the climate control, and I can set that up on there. But I've got easy-to-use dials by here, which do that for me anyway. So it's sort of maybe a little bit overkill, but it was the very early iDrive systems. The main thing on it for me is it's got um, a very good navigation system on it, which, which I find actually as good as many of the ones they put in brand new cars now. So if you like your wooden leather, you've come to the right place, guys. There's loads of it in here. It's very, very high quality leather, as you'd expect in a car that was in this price range 
when it was new. And if you like a nice engine, you will love the sound. I hope that comes through okay. Obviously with these phones, sometimes they have a, a little bit um, of a muffled sound, but it's just absolutely beautiful. I will point out the car is already warm, so that's why I'm revving it like that. It's, uh, it's already done nine miles today because I've just taken it to the car wash and back. That said, it's going to have a full valet before it goes out. So this isn't the finished product by any means. It's got to go through the workshop. Things like those bulbs that it was saying are out were going to be done on it. And it's going to end up having a, um, a little bit of a mini service on it as well, just prior to press the sale. What I do want to show you on it is a couple of features. It has got the sport mode on it. It's got a sport mode on the gearbox there and sport mode there, which also stiffens up the throttle and stuff like that. The DVD system there is for the navigation because it's a DVD based nav and you can get updates online. If you go on eBay, you can usually buy an update disc for not a lot of money. And of course, most importantly, I want to show you the roof. So to do that, there's some switches by here. You put your foot on the brake and you press this one here and up she comes. Okay, and we've got roof up now, guys, and as you can see, it's a very smart roof on this car with a glass rear screen. That's actually, an, that goes down with the electric windows, which is quite cool. Couldn't really show you very well the roof going up and down because of the, the angle, and I'm using quite a big sort of iPad type thing at the moment to, to take this video, which gives a good quality, but it's a little bit difficult to manoeuvre when you're in a car. So uh, let's just shut the door a second and have a quick look at the outside of the vehicle. Now that it's got the roof up, it's a very unusual roof design on a 6 Series. It's got these sculpted flanks, which I think look really cool. Like they used to put on the Jag XJS yes, many years ago, those. That's what it reminds me of. But I love that. I'd say it's nice having a glass screen because it doesn't, you know, get misted up like the, uh, like the plastic ones do. And it's got a rear heated windscreen in it like you would have in a normal car. And when you're sat in there, and I've driven this car 300 miles because I actually bought the car on the other side of the UK. So I travelled a fair bit to get it because low mileage 645s are a little bit hard to come by. So I uh, drove it back uh, with the roof up because it's quite late at night and it was quite a chilly day. And it, it, I could have been in a hard top. You cannot tell, even at motorway speeds, with the roof up on this car that you're in a convertible. You can't really ask for more than that. So, roof's in very good condition on it. As I do keep stating on here, you see in the car really, more or less as it's come into us, we've not had the car detailed or valeted. It's, it's had a clean, but that's all it's had, just a, a little roadside car wash. Um, you know, it's, it's a very good clean car that we, we had off a, a trusted high performance dealer uh, over in the, the east of the UK. And, uh, you know, it really pays sometimes to do a few miles to pick up nice examples of this. So, you know, I'm very pleased with what we got. So hopefully you will be too. And if this car is of interest to you, please give me a call on 07 932 873 uh, You can call me pretty much any time on that number and I'm happy to take uh, a part exchange off you. If you want to give me some details of what you got, I'll uh, be able to get a valuation on that for you. And if you uh, want delivery... I've already said I've come across the UK once in it. I'm happy to deliver it anywhere in the UK for you. If you're within 150 miles, that delivery is free of charge. So uh, give us a call. Let us know where you are. We'll arrange a deal and tailor it to you. So even with sort of lockdown restrictions in parts of the country at the moment, we're able to deliver it to your doorstep. We can do a contactless delivery service, which complies with the government guidelines. Please uh, give me a call. Any more info you want, any other photos or any details of this particular car, we've got it all there. We'll be throwing up some service history details and stuff on the advert on eBay and on Gumtree. And um, my number one more time, 07 932 873 646. Guys, please give us a like, give us a share, tell your family and friends about us, and hopefully we will see you soon. Please take care of yourselves and thank you for watching.